final moments of the warm-up and for uh, Rob McCall, Tracy Wilson, and the other four couples in this last group. And uh, for Wilson and McCall, they will skate first this time, but it does not seem to bother them, Taller. Well, Ted, as we know, Brian Boitano skated first and won the Olympics. Brian Orser skated first in the short program in the Olympics and won, and so on and so on. So I don't think with this kind of competitor that it's going to pose any problem at all. Tracy Wilson and Rob McCall, world and Olympic bronze medalists. Rob's been doing the drawing for skating position, and they told me about 15 minutes before this skate that they're perfectly happy to skate first in their group. Ted, I don't think it makes a speck of difference on this level, particularly as they are the bronze medalists in the Olympics. very top level of ice dancers, which Tracy and Rob certainly are and have proved that over the years, one sees a precision in the steps that you never get on the lower levels. expressions of this pair is that they have not opted for the overkill. Particularly difficult and interesting toe steps. One slip of the foot and you can fall, and so there's a certain amount of risk to that. There's great charm in this program, but not too comedic. 
one of the best performances I've ever seen them do, superior to the one at Calgary in the Olympic Games. The Canadians will respond wonderfully to this, as will all the other members of the audience. There are Canadians here from all over Canada, of course. They came in by droves, and a large contingent in excess of 50 came over from Lahr in West Germany at the base over there to cheer on the Canadians. And the Canadian flag, I think Canada has won the day in terms of number of flags waved in the crowd. Ice dancing is very difficult to commentate about, particularly when the program is not resting on a triple jump or one particular lift as it would in singles and pairs. It is the fluidity throughout the program that makes for the magic. It is the charm. Many of the things cannot be described in words. It is more of a feeling or experience. And their marks show the real experience that they do have. As we wait for them to go up on your monitor, they have first place marks. There they are, right across the board, five eights and a five sevens. A five eight from Canada, a five seven from the United States. Uh, the rest pretty well, five eights. And this is the first set of marks because they did everything almost perfectly. And you could just hear Tracy, oh, it was fun. When you're going well, it's fun. And the second set of marks are up beautiful. Hungary a 5-9, Canada a 5-9, the United States a 5-9. First place marks, certainly the bronze men was theirs. And should there be a slip anywhere else along the line, well, who knows, but they have done what they came here to do. They've done their job.